Even walls pulled apart. Officers from the LAPD Southwest Division got search warrants and raided four homes on suspicion of drug sales. They arrested seven people, including the 16-year-old son of Oni Palmer. They told me a while ago at the police station, they arrested him, say that they had uh, undercover cops watching, say he was out there flagging down customers. And I know my son wasn't flagging down nobody. The officers did find drugs in one of the houses, but a representative of the NAACP says their tactics were excessive. These kids sitting over here do not have a place to sleep tonight because of what the police came out here and did. And it's inexcusable. You can't explain it to anyone. And if the police have an explanation, we'd certainly like to hear it. After the police left, there were gang members who uh, re-entered the locations and were in there during the night and possibly caused some, uh, some additional damage. But right now, what we're looking at is uh, we have an investigation that's being conducted to determine uh, what damage was caused by the police. The people who live in the trash units are planning to file complaints against the police department, but that takes a lot of time to process. In the meantime, the Red Cross is here trying to find them temporary places to live. In the southwest area, Jim Murphy, Channel 9. Uh, we're at 3907 Dalton. And we're now in the living room area. Okay, come on through, Mark. Make sure you get that start with the wall there. Okay, I got it. Okay. Okay, back across the room. Okay. You see that they uh, damage not only the uh, furniture, but the walls as well. Get that shot of the wall right there. Okay. The damage we're looking at presently is a result of an LAPD raid on this particular home. Okay, let's take it. Now walking north through the house. The wall in the hallway is caved in and pulled out. Plaster broken. Obvious fire hazard uh, because the electricity uh, could in fact short out. I'm entering the bathroom area now. <clears throat> I don't know if the light's still working here or not. Okay, we got light. Oh, gee. Get down to this, uh, the toilet is broken. Keep going, Mark. I got it. Okay. Get the bathtub as well. Okay, I'll shower head full out of the wall as well. Okay, get to the sink here, here also. Okay, that's good. All right, let's go on. Okay, we're out of the bathroom at the north end of the house. There's one. Okay, continuing north through the house. Now we're in the back bedroom. Windows broken out. Get the TV. There's no reason for that TV to be busted out. Uh, they busted the TV as well. There's no excuse for this now. There's just no excuse for it. Okay, heading into the kitchen area. Windows broken out. door torn off the hinges. This is outrageous. Every drawer in the sink area kicked in and busted, obviously smashed. Stove as well. Stove pulled out. All the windows in the kitchen busted out, every one of them. This refrigerator door. Refrigerator door pulled off. Entire window on this side busted. Food taken out of the uh, refrigerator and dumped. Okay. Even there's spark of coal. Okay. Back bedroom. Back bedroom. Bed. Obviously, uh, it's been turned over. All the windows smashed in the back bedroom. Let me check that one back there. Okay, they, they smashed every TV in the damn house. Look at this. Sledgehammer used or something like that? Man, I don't believe this. Okay, yep. Get a shot of those windows. Bro. I got it. I got it. Okay, they raided your place too, right? Yeah, they raided this place. 
to where uh, the whole room was turned. We had to clean up a little bit so we didn't have sleeping places. Okay, you have you repaired the place. TV again broken. Did they smash the TV? Yes. This is nothing compared to the one in the front room. Let me ask something. Was there anything in the TV or any reason for it to be smashed? No, there was no reason for it. Just get that, Mark. I got it. I want to tell you that I was I was like walking through the hall, right? Do you want to be on film at all? Do you want to be on film? Well, no, this, okay. this, is just, this is just for the NAACP. We're not going to give this film part of the film to the police. Why don't you just say what happened, briefly? Well, they, they stopped me right there on the floor of my head and kicked me and slapped me on my neck. When I was walking down the stairs, one of the officers whispered, whispered to me, um, if I ever make a call to the police saying that I was going to kill them, that they would kill me first. What? All right. Okay. Okay, I don't want to be on film, but... Okay. No, that's all right. That's all right. It first Thanks. happened, like, I was... I, I heard the helicopter, so I just, like, peeked out the window to see what was going on. Before I could do anything, I just heard door, glass and everything just breaking and doors kicking in. It was the door next door until he ran up in here. And so I was like, officer, what happened? By that time, he had my brother, they kicking him all in the face. And he said, just sit down. You witnessed the beating of your brother? Uh -huh. Yes. He was kicking him in the face. I asked why he was doing that. So the other cop ran and told me to shut up and lay on the floor. And they could see you were obviously Yeah, pregnant. I told him that I couldn't lay on the floor because I'm two weeks from my due date and I couldn't get on the floor. He said, I don't give a F, get on the floor. So did, I they had make, to, did they make you lay on the floor? He made me lay on the floor. Two and you weeks, are, and you are two pregnant. Two weeks overdue? Two weeks before, no, oh, not two, overdue, but two, two weeks, weeks before. Two weeks before? Okay. Yeah. And so then he, like, got us all to the front room and they got the, he, okay, so then he, he sent up a lady officer and she said, where are the bitches at? And then she took these little white things like garbage keep things and she tied. On I got it on me. And she tied our arms together. Get that shot of the wall. The and I told her I couldn't be the, a Had you tied up while your hand, while She you, had me tied up in the middle room. With your hands in front or behind you? In back. For about a good two hours. And I told her that I could, my arms have gotten numb. And the circulation, I could just feel that, you know, nothing was in my arm. I could feel no blood rushing. She said, oh, that's nothing compared to labor. And I said, well, probably so. But could you... Um, take them off or something. So then the color cop, I was asking, can you take them off or just tie me to the gate if I just had them tied? He said no, because they have to be cut off. Can, can you use your restroom? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. We put another toilet in there because it had to be. They knocked the toilet out too. They knocked the. It was no toilet. The, the, the broken toilet is in there. Then pieces are outside. Did, did they? Did they put all these holes in the wall? They put every hole in this wall. There was not a hole in the wall. Okay, Mark. When you get done in there, come get this bit. Okay. All right. Can you just take me through the house? Yes. And tell me which is, what each uh, house is? Okay, this is my mother's room right here. Okay. How old is your mother? She should be about 59. Okay. And she uh, told him that she was having all kind of bad things and she wanted to know what was going on. And he told her to shut up and get on the floor, too. Gee, okay. And by that time, he tied her down and tied everybody in the house down. And they broke in the... They've also broken the windows in the mother's yeah, room as well. Every window, in the house. every window in the house and in the duplex has been broken. They did everything. Now, what's the reason for breaking the, the windows? Did they say anything about yeah, it? Yeah, when they first came, they said, yeah, we heard that the 30s in this neighborhood said they didn't want to kill a cop. The 30s in this neighborhood? In this neighborhood, yeah. And my mother, like, she has complained about gangbangers hanging around anything, but they said they just came to this neighborhood. So these all your mother's clothes or everybody's clothes? These are yeah. just clothes that came out the cabinet out of here. Oh my goodness, okay. And Take then, me through the rest. Okay. This is special water my mother has to drink because the doctor put her on nothing but this kind of water. Okay. And he took these bottles, about seven of them, threw them out the window. They threw your out. arrowhead bottles out of yeah. the window, second story of, uh -huh. the window, of the house. Yeah. Went inside the refrigerator. Disconnected uh, yeah, the, the gas, gas range. He came back and hooked it up. Tore the phones off. Every phone in the house was tore out the wall. And took everything out the refrigerator. Meats and everything. Her mother just bought because she's on a budget. She likes buying meats for the month. Oh. The last her. Uh, wait, hold on. Cereal that was up on top of the refrigerator for the kids. When, when my kids come over here, they pour it in the sink. Broke that up under there so we couldn't use it anymore. What's this uh, in the sink? All that food? Flour and everything else they ever put over in there. All right, and they broke in the walls in here as well? Yes, the walls. Did they say they were looking for anything? They didn't say they were looking for anything. Did they ever uh, bring a search warrant or anything like that present to anyone? After he got to turn up, he came back downstairs with a little white piece of paper that mother gave, I think she gave it to the manager. And it, it wasn't even really, the, the manager said that wasn't a search warrant. Yeah. These windows are not open, this is broken. It's broken. It's all broken. 
and there were seven Arrowhead water bottles thrown out from the second story of the domicile. Okay, Mark, get this bathroom. Did they break these stairs as well? Oh, these yeah, back stairs the are stairs. also broken, so they you broke. can't get out in a fire emergency, no. is that it? We could not even get out through the fire. They broke down the dog shed and everything else. Okay. Oh, sure did. Yeah. We'll go down the backyard in a minute, Mark. Okay. They got a train up there and all the windows were broke out. Okay. And this television right here. When did this happen? This happened. Um, on the first, I don't know if that was a Monday. If that was a Monday or what? Yeah. Michael, 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 Ya no, 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 Dice la señora que la otra vez que es, es, es abuso. ¿Ya? ¿Ya que lo mató? Ahí no es que no alcanza a sacar al otro. Ahí no, anda no. el pueblo. Entonces que tengo miedo, yo no. Pues sí, pero también hay que ver el otro pueblo porque tú nomás das ese. ¡Hola! ¡Pinche madre! ¡No te levantes ni nada! ¡Pinche madre, culero! ¡Esto es eso! Thank you. 